probably heard the statement that it takes 10,000 hours to master something, but what if you can make significant progress in a lot less time? I started to learn how to play five different instruments in the past year, and that doesn't leave a lot of time for practicing each one, so I was getting really frustrated that I wasn't making much progress. But in the last couple of months, I've discovered two things that have revolutionised the way I think about practice. And I've developed a small but mighty five-step practice structure that has supercharged my progress. I'm going to share everything with you so that you can make more progress with less practice and have more fun doing it. My first revelation was when I realised I was falling into the same trap that most people fall into. You might have seen a meme like this of what musicians do while practising. And while it's something that most of us can relate to, it also highlights something that most of us don't make a distinction between. Practicing is what we do when we already know how to do something. We're just repeating it to perfect it. Or maybe we're going over something we already know because we don't want to forget it, like a scale. Learning is what happens in the actually practicing section. Like learning a new technique or a completely new piece of music. It takes a lot more effort than practicing the stuff that we've seen before. When you first started learning an instrument, you might have felt excited, learnt a few notes and some techniques, and this whole world of music and songs was opened up to you. But the more you learn, the more you realise there is to learn, and things start to get tough, and your progress stalls, and you end up in the valley of despair. This can happen with every new thing that you learn. Unfortunately, this is the point at which most people stop practicing and learning the harder stuff and go back to playing what they already know. It takes a lot more effort than practicing the stuff that we've seen before. I'm sure we've all had those practice sessions where you're trying to learn something and you just get really frustrated at your lack of progress and just being rubbish at it, that you kind of quit for that session and then leave it for another day. But learning new techniques and working on the things you find difficult is the only way you're going to make real progress. So how can you make doing the difficult things more enjoyable? I figured out two ways to make learning the difficult things more enjoyable and also keep me focused on what I'm doing so I make faster progress in less time as well. The first thing is that I start every practice session by playing the things that I already know. Now, yes, I did just say that that's not what you want to spend all of your practice session doing, but by playing the things that you know, you'll get your brain into a happy place. It releases endorphins and makes you enjoy your practice. And you're associating practicing with these happy feelings, which means that after this session, you're going to be more likely to want to practice again in the future. But starting a session by playing what you know actually has massive benefits to the stuff that you do immediately after it. There are multiple studies that show the huge impact that positive emotions have on our learning and our problem solving and our creativity. So continue to start your practice sessions by playing something fun because it helps to warm up your body and your mind. So after you've started by playing the things you know, how do you structure the rest of that practice session time to maximise your learning? Well, it starts by giving yourself a gift. For a while, whenever I started a practice session, I couldn't actually remember what I was supposed to be working on. So I'd waste time just scrolling on my phone looking for something to practice, or I'd go through my lesson notes and my music. So I decided to leave a gift for my future self. Every time I practice, I use the same HOT acronym to help me remember how to structure my practice sessions. I bet you can guess the first heading. It's fun. I start every session by playing something that I love that's going to make me feel excited and happy and engaged in the practice session. After fun, it's when my motivation and my focus is going to be at its highest in the entire practice session. So that's the time I want to dive into the thing that's hardest. That's when I move on to learn and I do something that's completely new to me. That might be a new song or a new lesson in an online course that I'm doing or something that my teacher introduced me to at the last lesson. Because I'm excited at this point, it's really tempting for me to play quickly and try to accelerate my speed, but I force myself to go slowly so that I don't learn it wrong. I know that I'll naturally speed up later after I've learned it. I get some decent practice time in when I'm really focused, and it's encouraging to see myself making improvements in this time. 
But like anything, you can only focus on something hard and difficult for so long before you start to lose focus and you start to make mistakes. So if I start to take two steps back, then I know that it's time to stop. The last thing that I want to do is practice the mistakes because if I do that, then I'll learn the mistakes because practice makes permanent. By the end of the learn step, I'm usually been messing up for a while and I need a bit of a confidence boost and to get that dopamine back up again in the practice session. So to do that, I go to the archive step and this literally means pulling anything from my archive that I know that I'm going to need to practice, otherwise I'm going to forget it. So this would be things like techniques that I don't use particularly often or a difficult song I haven't played for a while or scales that I want to make sure that I can remember. As soon as I'm feeling motivated again, I move on to the next step, which is kind of like doing some more learning, but less intensely than the learning stage. In the master step, this is where I go to things that I kind of know, and I've done a lot of learning, but I need to play them over and over again to actually practice and make them better. So this might be playing a song and trying to make it faster, or really perfecting a particular technique so that it sounds clear. Just like in the learning section, there comes a point where I'm losing my focus and I probably sound a bit worse than I did earlier in the session. And at that point, I move on to the last step, which is enjoy. So it's basically fun under a different name, but flamph isn't a word. <laughs> so by returning to something fun or enjoyable at the end of the session, what I'm doing is reinforcing that association of practice with being fun so that I'm motivated to practice more again in the future. Even though the acronym helps me remember what I'm practicing and how to structure a session, you don't necessarily have to do things in this order. The key thing is that you're alternating between times of doing something that's new and difficult and times where you're feeling more confident and you're getting a dopamine boost because you're playing things that you already kind of know. And I think that's the trick to making really effective progress. So for example, when I'm playing, I may go back and forth between learn and archive several times in a practice session if I've got enough energy and focus. Sometimes when I go back to learn, I may decide to focus on a different thing rather than the thing I was practicing before, just because sometimes having that change gives me a boost of enthusiasm and motivation. Because after all, music is fun and it doesn't matter how much you practice, you will never learn everything in a lifetime. So you may as well embrace that enthusiasm for learning and use this in a way that's helpful to you. If you want to learn more about making music, consider subscribing so that you can easily find this channel again. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. I'm so happy that you're here.